seen a clinical examiner. This is the injectable IV push medication station. This is the medication order for this station. Your patient is here. The medications and supplies are here. You may use this form for your calculations. You have 15 minutes to complete this station. It is now 1800. Tell me when you are ready for me to verify the medication dose and when you have completed all the critical elements. Please place all syringes into the sharps container at this station. Okay, the first thing we'll do is check our medication against our MAR. And so we have here digoxin. Okay, digoxin, 0 0.25 milligrams over 1 milliliter. Okay, digoxin, 0 0.25 milligrams. We're administering over 1 minute, 1 milliliter. So our calculations then will be 0 0.25 milligrams are one milliliter for one minute. Okay. Okay. Also on the order we have an order for a flush intermittent venous access device with one milliliter of normal saline before and after the bolus medication. Okay. Next you will select next no. Next you would um, verify with the CE your calculations and your medication. Verify. Yes. Thank you. It is right. We have different syringes will be on the table at the CPNE for you to choose from. What I suggest is that you choose two syringes of the same size for your flushes and then one syringe of a different size for your medication. That will help you with keeping um, them separated. You'll also need your alcohol wipes and that's probably three or four alcohol wipes and a clean pair of gloves and of course your sharps container. Now for this um, presentation and for this practice session we're going to use the um, needle the syringes that require needles to draw from the IV uh, mini bag but at the actual CPNE you'll have the uh, needleless syringes okay let's grab an alcohol pad and our syringes let's first pull up our flushes back one milliliter. It is okay to go over one milliliter if you see that you have a bubble in there so you can expel the bubble. Okay, and I do have a couple of bubbles. and you're going to put it back in this plastic cover. Okay, then we'll draw the second flush. Grabbing another alcohol pad to clean the port.
Once again, you're drawing back one milliliter. bit more so you can expel bubbles. We will draw the uh, out the medication. And there's no, at the CPE, there's no need to add any air because you will be using the ventless valves. The medication is for one milliliter. This time we make sure you're not getting any air and bubbles into that syringe. Put that way. Now you can verify if you've drawn up the right medication with the CE at this time. Verify medication draw. Thank you. Okay. Now you would ID your patient against your mark. Patient's name, their date of birth, and the MAR number, uh, MR medical record number, patient's name, date of birth, and the medical record number. Very good. Let's don our gloves. And we're checking for edema or infiltration at the IV site. Take your alcohol prep, clean your port. And we're gonna start with an IV flush and you're gonna aspirate and push over eight to 10 seconds. Okay, syringe in the Sharps container. Now you're holding, because I'm holding the port, I'm not needing to uh, push um, to clean the port again. If you do let go of the port, then you will need to use another alcohol pad. I'm attaching the medication. I'm looking at my clock, my watch, my clock. 